Well, this is uh, the Occupy CSUN encampment. The crowd is, uh, well, perhaps it's a bit of a stretch to call it a crowd, but there are a number of dedicated protesters out here, uh, students and alumni, who have elected to occupy a corner of the main lawn here in front of the uh, glorious Soviet Library at Cal State Northridge campus. We had about a hundred people earlier, like when people were coming out of class, and we had a facilitator who was able to uh, rally up people, and while he was talking, people were listening, people were down. I feel we have moved in a direction where we're facing like less negativity than we would have mm -hmm. in the past. CSUN had an uh, activist history a long time ago, but after that there was definitely a period where it was completely dry, but right now I think people are ready again. It's the idea of the 99% versus the 1% who are like benefiting off of like, you know, like profiting off the system and living highly and denying services and basic rights and things to, uh, you know, to the large mass of the individuals in society. We, the students, are part of that 99% and you see like, you know, these cuts to education happening and this tuition rising and it's barring a lot of people from uh, even being able to attend school. What we're dealing with right now is a direct product of an almost full-on free market. Um, the Great Depression is another example of a full-on free market gone awry. And we, we, we learned from that, and then we forgot. We forgot because we don't care about our history. If we are in the, the CFC system, the People's University, and uh, we aren't really being treated as people right now, as far, as far as I see. We're being treated more like customers, it seems. Like, we're, we're paying, uh, you know, more and more, you know, we're, consu we're, consu you know, we're consumers now. We're paying more and more every single time for our classes for all the services that they're being given, but like, I mean, education isn't something to be bought, something to be, you know, to be, it's a human right. What can we do and we don't didn't have to rely on government or special interests to uh, uh, fix our problems? Because really, it starts with us. What can one do, Salvador? Shit, man, we'll occupy it. You know, if all of us in the fucking school just say one day we walked out and say, hey, this, this bitch is ours, you know, this school is ours, you know, well, I think, you know, the people, you know, the, the, the student body, you know, all those fuckers over there that deal with this, you know, they could change it, you know, like, oh, these students are really mean it.